Hi everybody, today we are going to explore how much owning an EV adds to your electricity bill and then compare that cost to our other car that runs on petrol. Welcome to EV for me. Hi everybody, welcome to our newly created Studio 2. We've got the EV for me logo up the top and bookshelves and some other bits and pieces. Ali the supervisor underneath the table. Yes, Ali underneath the table. And today we're going to be analyzing this, um, the electricity bill. We hate getting these in the mail or any other type of bill. We hate getting them in the mail as well. And we're going to see how much of an impact an electric vehicle has on this electricity bill um, and how much more expensive it is per quarter. That'll be interesting to know because I haven't really taken much notice or looked into it yet. Yeah, yeah. But basically we charge the car with our zappy wall chargers bolted onto the wall and Kaz plugs it in. And how often do you plug it in every week? Once to twice a week. Sometimes, well, beginning of the week and then sometimes towards the end. Okay. And uh, basically it gets plugged in overnight and it's fully charged in the morning. By stupid o'clock by stupid o'clock and it's it's pretty much ready to go. With a normal conventional vehicle, it's uh, putting petrol or gasoline into a tank. So when you go down to the service station, you put the nozzle into the actual vehicle itself and that delivers fuel in the form of petrol or gasoline into that tank. And that fuel is what drives the internal combustion engine in your car or the ice basically. And that's what moves you forward. In an electric vehicle, um, it's a very similar process, except it's plugging into a vehicle and instead of delivering fuel or gasoline, you're delivering electrons into a battery and that battery delivers power to an electric motor and that's what propels the electric vehicle forward. So that's just the way things work. Instead of you know using a liquid fuel such as petrol or gasoline or whatever the case may be, you're using um, electrons or electricity. And how do we measure fuel delivered to a, a normal conventional car? It's measured in litres or gallons. Yes, litres or gallons for, for the, uh, the, the Americans out there. And if you're talking about um, how we measure electricity, it's actually measured in kilowatt hours. Um, and that's how we determine how much um, energy is actually delivered into the electric vehicle battery. So between the 21st of January and the 22nd of April this year, which is the, the three month billing period for our um, electricity provider ACTU AGL, um, our Zappi wall charger dispensed 1276.3 kilowatt hours of electrical energy to charge the electric vehicle battery. And we actually pulled that from the logs of the actual Zappi charger itself. And it takes roughly nine hours to fully charge the battery. Wouldn't you say that? Yeah. You just plug it in overnight. About that. Yeah. And it, it delivers, you know, 54, 55, 56 kilowatt hours of charge or electrical energy into that battery. Um, and that will roughly carry you about 300 kilometers in the uh, E plus Nissan Leaf. So with electricity costing roughly 18.89 cents per kilowatt hour, the car charging costs are roughly $241 for that 90 day billing period. Uh, and in that time, over that 90 days, the electric vehicle carried us over 9,141 kilometers, which is a long way. Wow, that's a lot of driving. Yeah, and where did we go roughly? Work, back. Work, back, Dubbo. And Dubbo. But I went to Wagga a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So um, the electrical actually got a flogging over that 90 day period. Let's compare that to the Nissan X-Trail that we own, that we would have been driving around if we didn't have the electric vehicle. Um, the X-Trail consumes on average 11 liters of unleaded petrol per 100 kilometers. So if we traveled 9,141 kilometers in the X-Trail, that would have been roughly 1,005 
liters of unleaded petrol. So uh, in today's terms, with um, unleaded petrol roughly costing, you know, $1.40 back then in early January, um, that would have been $1,407 of unleaded petrol. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of, yeah, that's a lot of money for unleaded petrol. So we'll take the electric vehicle cost of charging away from that. So we've got $1,407 for unleaded petrol. And if we took the $241 mm -hmm. of the electric vehicle uh, charging, that gives us a saving of $1,166 um, that we've saved by using an electric vehicle. And that's just for three months. Wow, really? Over $1,100 for driving an electric vehicle around, we savings. have saved in money. Um, that's, that's just huge. And to expand on that further, um, if you look at one litre of petrol, is about 2.3 kilos of carbon dioxide, basically, and other pollutants and, and things of that nature. Um, so we have roughly offset 2.3 tons of carbon, or 5,000 pounds of carbon dioxide, going up into the atmosphere, because when we charge the electric vehicle here in Canberra, um, all camera is run by green energy, so it's there's no carbon going into the atmosphere. So we've we've displaced 2.3 tons or 5,000 pounds of carbon dioxide from going up there. Good on us. Yes, but 2.3 tons it's just a number. So what weighs 2.3 tons? Medium sized four wheel drive. Yes, a medium sized four wheel drive, um, a black rhino. Um, there's, there's probably plenty of other things out there that weighs 2.3 tonnes, put those in the comments down below. But it's not only a money saving, it's, uh, it's saving putting that pollution, carbon dioxide up to, into the atmosphere and nitrous of oxides and, and all other nasty things that comes out of the tailpipe. Our current electricity provider, ActuAgel, is charging us roughly 19 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, when we shopped around this time last year, um, our provider didn't have anything specifically around electric vehicles, not, no real products or anything like that. No. And we, <clears throat> we did a little bit of shopping around, um, but some providers wanted, wanted us on off-peak or they had something specific where you could only charge between 10 and 6, 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. If you, want, if you kind of went over by a couple of minutes, they'd hit you with the full, full rate of kilowatt hours instead of the, the, the basic rate. And just little tricky things like that, just wacky conditions. And, you know, it's... We didn't want that. We didn't want that. And, you know, electricity providers in Australia, if you're listening out there, make a product for, you know, electric vehicle um drivers to charge your cars in between two specific times don't put in any stupid silly conditions um, try and change the behavior of consumers out there so we only charge our electric vehicles at night you know when the main load is off the network and you know you've got these generators out there at Tumut and just you know burning away with hydro systems just just doing nothing um, all that energy can be used to, to, you know, charge electric vehicles. Yeah. You know, we have over a thousand electric vehicles in Canberra at the moment, and it's growing every day. If you're an energy retailer, you would be absolutely stupid not to make a bit a product for electric vehicle um, owners like us and target the Canberra market. You know, it's it must be a gold mine here. You know, we are the electric vehicle capital of Australia, even though we're you know five to ten years behind the rest of the world. Um, you know, a bit of foresight from these electricity companies would be fantastic. And, be. Yeah, and you know, who knows, we might do some shopping around in the next month or so and change from Actu AGL onto another provider. If you know another provider out there that can give us a, a dirty good deal, um, yeah, please put that in the comments uh, kind of down below. Um, but really, electricity providers have got to move with the times and you know just just keep up with their consumers 
So in summary, we've saved a little bit over $1,100 over that three month billing period. We've displaced roughly 2.3 tons or 5,000 pounds of carbon going up into the atmosphere. And we've owned Yuki the Nissan Leaf for one Just year now. Just over a year, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna do a one year review of that and we have the, the total charging figures for that whole year. So we'll, we'll put that video out soon of how much money we've saved over the whole year and how much pollution we have not put up into the atmosphere. So uh, yeah, that video will be released soon. And Kaz, you can do the sign off. Well, thank you, dear. As always, if you want to follow our EV adventures, go to our Twitter page, ev for me 2 Check that out. Uh, leave your comments down below. Subscribe and hit the bell if you want to know when a new vlog is being uploaded. And we will see you next time. We're out of here. Bye. Your time. Cheers, big ears. Mm. Cheers. <laughs>